Greed is the feeling of the more the better. Whenever you encounter something you like, anger is the feeling that arises when you encounter a situation that doesn't please you. Stupidity is the polluted thoughts of the stupid mind that cause you to go about things in a confused way. If you can simply put an end to those three poisons, you can be in mutual response with the way. Then it is very easy to accomplish your work in the way. There are four kinds of shramanas. A shramana victorious in the way he has cultivated and accomplished either ahadship, ahadship, or bodhisattvahood. A shramana who speaks of the way, who propagates the drama for the benefit of living beings. A shramana who leaves the way, he maintains the precepts with purity and great vigor and is careful never to break them. A shramana who divides the way, he doesn't eat pure food and he breaks the precepts. He turns his back on them. Not only does he defy himself, but he defies the Buddha's teaching. He makes a bad impression on people when they see a person who has left the whole life but does not keep the precepts. They lose their faith in the Buddha Dharma. Since he causes others to lose faith, he is said to define the Buddha's teaching. Paramiti, the Shramana who translated the Suragama Sutra, represents the first three kinds of Shramana. He is victorious in the way, he speaks of the way, and he leaves the way. Paramiti in Sanskrit means extreme amount, indicating that his talent and his wisdom were both extremely ample and full. Java Master Paramiti translated the Suragama Sutra, and as director of translation, he stood at the head of more than 200 Dharma Masters who had assembled to work on the translation. The work has done a true, true monastery and large monastery in the city of Khatan. Because of the great merit and virtue involved in directing the translation of the Sutra, the translator and the history of transmission and translation are discussed as the ninth door before the text itself is explained. The reviewer, certifi certifier, and editor. Sutra reviewed by Sramana Magashikara from Udiyana. Commentary Dharma Paramiti was assisted by a Sramana from Udiyana, a place in India. Before it was converted to housing, Udiyana had been an imperial flower garden. So, in translating the word to Chinese, the character for Karambola, a kind of flower, was used. Megashika means able to subdue, which indicates that he could subdue afflictions, demon obstacles, and all, anything of the sort. Having left Udiyana for China, Megashika revised the translation paying particular attention to what expressions in Chinese would be used. He was one of the highest Dharma masters to take part in the work. Sutra certified by Shramana Huai Di from Nan Luo Monastery of Luo Fu Mountain. Commentary Often copies of the Sutra text do not list this Dharma master's name, but his name is listed in earlier editions and should be added to later ones if he has been omitted. Luofu Mountain is a famous mountain in Canton province. Nanlu Monastery is the place where Shramana Huaiti cherishing progress dwelt. Probably when Huaiti's master gave him that name, it was in the hope that he would work hard and vigorously. The D of his name means to progress, the meaning being that he should continually be vigorous in his cultivation, that he should not rest, that he should not be lazy. This Dharma master was extremely well educated. He concentrated on the study of the teachings of the sutras, 
so he was very clear about the doctrines contained in them. Because he, he also understood Sanskrit, he was the drama master appointed to certify the translation, since both drama master Paramiti and drama master Megashika understood Sanskrit thoroughly. Why did someone else from China certify the translation? Although these two drama masters had mastered both Sanskrit and Chinese, they had just come to China and it was to be feared that they did not completely understand Chinese. So someone from China was called upon to certify the translation. This was Dharma Master Y.D. I haven't looked into my contemporary editions of the Sutra to list Dharma Master Y.D. I haven't looked into why contemporary editions of the Sutra don't list Dharma Master YD, although formal editions all do, but I wanted to mention him so that it would be known who certified the translation. Sutra edited by Bodhisattva Precepts disciple Fang Yong in Qinghe, former censor of state and concurrently attendant and minister and court regulator. Commentary. The Bodhisattva precepts should be taken by both people who have left the home life and lay people. The sutra that sets forth the Bodhisattva precepts, the Brahman Net Sutra says, whether as king of a country or as a great official, when one is initiated into one's position, one should take the Bodhisattva precepts because Fang Yung understood the Buddha Dharma. He took the Buddha as his father and the Bodhisattvas as his brothers and took the 10 major and 48 minor Bodhisattva precepts. Afterwards, he referred to himself as a disciple. He received the Bodhisattva precepts and then he became the censor of state, which means that whenever the country was in error, he reported it, he criticized of state indicates his official capacity within the government. The text says former indicating that at the time he edited the Suragama Sutra translation, he was no longer in that position. Concurrently means that he had two positions, attendant and minister. As attendant, he looked after the imperial affairs and carried out imperial commands. As minister, he was involved in the government of the country and in that capacity issued his own commands. His duty as God regulator was to make sure the affairs of God were in equilibrium. His family name was Fang. His given name was Yung. Yung means perfectly effused. He was from Qinghe. Edited by means he used his brush to write out the text. He polished the language, making it even more eloquent, so that the style and technical perfection of the writing is of unsurpassed excellence. Why? Official Fang Yu is a great, was a great writer, an extremely well-educated man, that he himself, with his own brush, polished his text, makes the Suragama Sutra text particularly fine. If you wish to study Chinese, you can memorize the Suragama Sutra. It is a paragon of Chinese composition. Even many Chinese are unable to read and understand it. Now that the first nine doors of explanation are complete, the specific explanation of the meaning of the text follows. Sutra Thus, I have heard. Commentary thus expresses faith, Ananda, the Buddha's cousin, and the foremost in learning of all his disciples, edited and compiled the sutras. At the beginning of each sutra, he says, Thus, I have heard, indicating that the words to follow are the Buddha's words. Thus means, drama suggests this, the eight volumes of the Suragama Sutra is what I, Ananda, have heard. I, Ananda, myself heard 
the Buddha speak this. Therefore, Dharma that is thus can be believed. Dharma that is not thus cannot be believed. Thus then refers to the text of the Sutra. Thus satisfies the fulfillment of faith. All sutras spoken by the Buddha begin with the six fulfillments. The fulfillment of faith, the fulfillment of hearing, the fulfillment of time, the fulfillment of a host, one who speaks the Dharma, the fulfillment of a place, and the fulfillment of an audience. Why must one have faith? Someone may wonder. Faith is the source of the way and the mother of merit and virtue, because it nourishes all good dramas, such as its great importance. It is said the Buddha drum is like a great sea. Only through faith can one enter it. There is no other way to enter the sea of drama except by faith. Only by means of faith can one deeply enter the sutra treasury and have wisdom like the sea. One should have faith that the Suragama Sutra is extremely fine. Believe in the sutra that is to have faith. That is what is meant by the fulfillment of faith. Fulfillment of hearing. Those with the fulfillment of faith must still must come to listen to what is said. If you have only the fulfillment of faith, then when lecture time comes, you may be off in the park or at a coffee house and miss the lecture entirely. That would be a case of there being no realization of hearing. But if instead you end out drinking coffee while sutras are being lectured, that is more. If you aren't even thinking about food, though you give dinner and are thus making absolutely certain that you hear the sutra, you have achieved the fulfillment of hearing. Since you have all come to listen and have brought about the fulfillment of faith with your sincerity, I will realize the fulfillment of hearing for you. The fulfillment of time. If you have faith and hearing, but you don't have time, you don't have the time, then there's no way to hear the sutra. There must be an appropriate time. Usually, you are either going to school or going to work and have no time to come and listen to sutra lectures. But now, we have found the time to assemble and investigate the sutra. The fulfillment of a host. You must also have a host to speak the drama. For if, for instance, you want to listen to sutras, you must find someone to lecture them for you. However, if you were to request one of your do-it-yourself drama masters, lay people who use this title, even though they have left, they have not left their home life in the orthodox tradition, to lecture you will find that you might as well lecture yourself. You already understand what they lecture. Therefore, you must find a host who can speak the Dharma. It was for this reason that you pulled me out of the grave. Basically, I'm known as a monk in the grave, but you have brought me out to lecture sutras and speak Dharma for you. Who is the host of the sutra? Shakyamuni Buddha spoke the Suragama Sutra. He represents the fulfillment of a host. The fulfillment of a place. Once there is a host to speak the Dharma, then everything is ready for Dharma to be spoken, right? You ask. No, you still need a place to lecture the sutras. What about the park? It's big enough. You, we could go there for lectures. That might work for a day or two. But by the third day, the authorities would prevent it 